Richard, I'm Trey with Fandango. How, you how, how tall are you? I'm six foot two and a half. Okay. I'm barely five nine. I think that I would be better cast as a dwarf yeah. than, than yourself. Yeah. So how, how does that work? You know, why, why do you think you'd be better cast as a dwarf? Because I'm shorter than you. Well, yeah, I mean, my, my dwarf <laughs> is five foot two, so so it's, I had to lose a foot. But it, no, it's, it's a weird question and, and something that I kind of struggled with myself at the beginning, thinking, why have I been cast? I'm six foot two. So do I have to sort of bend my knees and stoop a little bit to make this work? And then you get to New Zealand and you realize that Pete's got digital computers that's going to do that for him. Got the um, magic of the <clears throat> yeah. But I think the thing that they were looking for was uh, they wanted a physical presence. And so um, a lot of the guys that play dwarves are quite, have got quite big physiques. And mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's Graham McTavish, who's, you know, a great, you know, he's a great uh, trainer, fighter. Um, and, and actually, they made us bigger to, uh, to make us smaller so that when we get shrunk, we don't look like children. We, we still look like warriors. And they wanted us heavy and, and uh, robust. So that was one of the, you know, surprising things about this work for me. Did, was there... Um, I I, I know that when he did Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson, there was perspective, you know, to make people look smaller. Was was that also part of creating the the uh, I guess the the imagination or the the dwarf look, I suppose. Um, with three D, you can't use that force okay. perspective. So okay. um, there were there were moments where um, they tried to use it. Um, in more in a mid shot, but but in 3D, we, they, he developed a new system which was called uh, slave motion control. So they have a completely green room with the with one actor in it, and then another room with the other actor in it. And there's a set in one room and, and nothing in the other room, and then they overlay it together. It's obviously a bit more technical than that, but it's it's kind of complicated because you have to rehearse the scene with your actors and then go away into a, a green room with dots on the walls and imagine everybody, and you've got an earpiece in, so you're hearing the dialogue, but you're imagining faces but I mean that's part of the craft of of what we were doing and, and actually it comes closer to theatre when when you're imagining I would think so yeah things more than seeing them all right last question um, somebody that let's say knows nothing about Lord of the Rings knows nothing about Hobbit yeah. is, is this a good place for them to start if they wanted to learn and kind of get into the whole thing yes I mean the Hobbit I feel like the Hobbit was the was the younger brother of Lord of the Rings it was a it was almost a blueprint for the for that story and uh, there's a great deal of humor in it, and uh, I think it, it's probably going to be a great family movie. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate the time. All right.